Okay. Okay, people are starting to come in. Great. Welcome to a virtual Excel Academy. So we have a couple of people coming in pretty quickly here. We'll give a few, just a few more minutes. Let people sign in and come in. Welcome to our virtual Excel Academy on creating your personal passport. Just another minute. Make sure everybody can get in who is coming in. Oh, there's, okay. All right, welcome everyone to the Virtual Excel Academy, creating your personal passport. Uh, don't forget that you can participate by typing in the chat or raising your virtual hand. And um, also remember, if you type in the chat, make sure that you're sending out the chat to everyone. You can click on it and change it to everyone instead of just host or panelists. Everyone needs to see what you're saying, unless you want to send us a private message. Um, I think that we are ready to go then. So I am going to hand this over to our presenter today, Amy Query. Great. Thank you, Leslie. Hi, everyone. Um, like she said, my name is Amy Query. And um, just to give you a little description of me, I have long brown hair with some blonde highlights and green eyes. And I am about, I am 34 years old. Sometimes I forget that number. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited to be here today. Some of you may recognize me. Um, maybe you've heard my voice or you've seen me before. I've done two other lessons and I'm excited to be back to talk about something else today um, that I think is really important and I hope that you do as well and that you have fun today during our session. Um, just so you know I will ask a couple of questions throughout this lesson and so if you can participate whether it's just thinking about it or whether you can type in the chat I would love for you to um, participate so that you can learn during this lesson as well. So I have um, something that I want to show you. First of all, I'm going to hold up what looks like it's a blue little book. And the blue book actually has some pages with pictures on them. And the blue book has words on it in gold that says Passport United States of America. And it has a picture, a little picture in the middle of the book. And I don't know if any of you have seen or heard of a passport before, but this is my passport. And I'm going to open up this little book and I'm going to show you that in when I open up the book, it's really hard to see, but there is a picture of me in this book. And next to the picture of me has some information. So it has things that are about me. An example is that it has um, a, my name in there. It has my birth date. And it also has things like where I lived for a while. And I see Isabel raised her hand. Did you have something you wanted to say, Isabel? Hi, 
All right, sorry, teacher Amy. Isabel now has permission to talk. So Isabel, go ahead and unmute. So what are passports usually for? Isabel, that's such a great question. That's what we're gonna talk about today, actually. So this passport that I'm showing you, this blue little book, what it's used for is so that other people know who I am. So a passport, this kind that I'm holding in my hand is often used when you travel. So if I'm going far away on an airplane um, to a place that you, they need to know more about you so that you can go to that country, I have to bring this book, this passport, because they want to see that that picture looks like me and they also want to see the other information about me. So a passport is something that tells other people about you. That's why we have passports. So today, Isabel, I wanted to talk about making our own personal passport. So it's a little different than that blue book but it's the same in that it tells people things about you. And so we're gonna start. Does on, this lesson require any materials? Not today. Okay. But in a couple of sessions, we can go over that um, maybe at the end. In a couple of sessions, we will have some more materials, but today, we're just going to talk and we're going to play a little game that you can use your hand or your head or things that you already have with you. Does that sound good? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So I want to show you, we're going to talk about a couple of things that we're going to do and a couple of goals I have for this lesson. Okay. I wonder how many of you have heard of what's called WH questions. There are some words that we use to write, to ask questions, and they start with the letters W, H. So I'm going to show you what those W, H questions are. I see that Nadia mentioned in the chat that she has heard of them. Awesome. So we're going to talk a little bit about those question words. So I'm going to show you. I have a black board that's fairly large. I'll scoot back so you can see it better. And on my black board, I have five pieces of paper, five little squares. And on these five little squares, they have pictures, little pictures and words with them. So the first WH question is who, who? And the word who is right here. And it has a person with a question mark because who questions, we're thinking about who, who is that? Who should we give this to? The next one, here, I'll go ahead and show the who actually a little bit closer for those of you who may need to see that. That's who. The next one is the what. What, there's the word what, and it has a box with a question mark. What are we doing today? That is one of the question words we're gonna be talking. What is a personal passport? Isabel asked us that. What do we use a passport for? And the next one is when. It has the word when on the bottom, and then it has a clock with a question mark in the middle. When do we use a personal passport? Okay, and the next one is the word where. Remember, these are all our WH questions. We have five of them. And this one is where, and it has a picture of what looks like a map or trying to figure out where you're at. And it has a question mark on it. And the last WH question we have 
is Y. And it has a person with a think bubble. So they're thinking and it has a question mark in there. Why are we doing this today? So we can't go through all five of these today because that's a lot to talk about. And we don't have that much time, but we are going to start today talking about two of these WH questions. Okay. So the ones that I really, really want to talk to you about today are the why and the what. So I'm going to take away the other ones. We'll save those for another day. There's five WH questions, and we're going to talk about two of them. The what and the why, okay? And so as we're going through our lesson and we're talking about what do we put in our personal passport and why do we have to use these or why would it be good to use these? We, I want you to think about something. So all of you who are live right now or who are maybe watching this at another time, I want you to think about two things today, okay? The first one, I'm holding up one finger. The first one is I want you to think of why is a personal passport going to help me? So you can ask yourself that question. You can ask yourself, why can a personal passport help me, okay? And the second thing I want you to think about and holding up two fingers is that I can, I want to be able to pick three different things about myself that I want to tell somebody. So we want to know why I can think of one reason why a personal passport is helping me. And then what kinds of things, three things can I share with somebody that I want to tell them? Okay, what things do I want to tell them? So those are what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna talk a little bit first about the why, and then we're going to talk about the what. But first, let's talk about the why. Because I don't know about you, but I like to know why am I doing something? Why is this important to me? Has anyone ever seen this word before? It's a really big word. And you can type Y for yes in the chat or N for no if you've never seen this word. And I'm holding up a piece of paper that reads self-determination. So, okay. Getting some answers. So Nadia said, yet, yeah, why for yes in the chat? And Monica has also heard of the word self-determination. That's a big word. It really is. It's kind of a challenging one to say, but it's really important because this is why I want to share with you how to make a personal passport. So what is self-determination? I want to tell you, it's something, it's something that can help you feel good about yourself. So I don't know if you've had days where you felt happier when maybe you got to make a choice about what you did during that day, or maybe what you got to eat for lunch, or maybe it was uh, you had a choice of what you watched on TV that day. Whenever we get to make choices and tell people about ourselves, we tend to feel happy and good. Okay, and so when we make these personal passports that I'll show you in a minute, it's going to help us feel good about ourselves because it helps us share information, helps us tell other people about what we want them to know about us. And even just 
thinking about what we want other people to know and thinking about ourselves and things that we like and things that we're good at can also help us feel good inside. And so that helps us feel better and that helps our self-determination. So that means that we can, we feel good that we can do things. And we realize that when we think about ourselves a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna think about ourselves a little bit and we're gonna play a little game. I hope everyone is ready for this. So I know that everyone likes and doesn't like different things. So I have, a picture of a thumbs up. This is a hand with the thumb, with the fist, and then a thumb sticking straight up. On this paper, it has a word that says like. So a lot of times when I like something or if somebody asks me a question and I think it's okay to do something, I'll put my thumb up in the air and give them a thumbs up that that's good. I like that. Okay. And then if I don't like something, I put my thumb down the other way. So now I'm holding a square with a picture, a printed picture of a hand with a closed fist and the thumb pointing down towards the ground. And then there's a word that says dislike on the bottom. And that means I do not like it. It is not good. And thinking about things that we either like or dislike can help us learn more about ourselves. And some of that is what we're going to put on our personal passports to tell other people about what we like or don't like. So I want you right now um, to think about how you want to say you like something or you don't like something. So maybe some of you want to use your thumbs up or your thumbs down, like we just talked about. Maybe you want to shake your head, yes, for I do like it, or no, for I don't like it. Maybe you just want to say yes or no. Or if you want, you can type the Y for yes in the chat or N for no if you want to share with other people here today what you like or don't like. Okay, I'm going to give you a minute to choose how you want to say you like something or you don't like something. I know for me, I'm gonna use my pictures today. So I'm gonna hold up my picture of the thumbs up for like, or my picture for thumbs down for do not like. Now this game, I hope everyone decided how they're going to answer. And this game is going to help us more with the what. What are we gonna put on our personal passport? We're gonna try to come up with some ideas here. I just held up the what picture that I was showing earlier on my blackboard that has the box and the question mark. Okay, I hope everyone's ready for our game. I have my thumbs up and thumbs down cards ready in my hand. So I'm gonna ask a question and I want you to think about it and then answer. Do you like to look at brighter colors? In my hand, I'm showing a bright yellow. I'm showing a bunch of feathers that are bright yellow. Do you like to look at brighter colors?
I am holding up my dislike, my thumbs down card. Nadia answered no in the chat. She also does not really like to look at bright colors. Monica says no, she does not like to look at bright colors. And Nadia said she can't see, so colors aren't helpful to her. So that's important, Nadia, right, for other people to know about you, that it doesn't matter if they show you bright colors, it doesn't help you. It's not, it doesn't mean anything to you. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next question. Do you like to feel books? I'm going to show what I have in my hand is a, a homemade book. So it's a piece of paper with printed words and a printed picture, but on it, if you were to feel it, it has a picture of clouds, but the feel of the clouds feel really soft. And if I was to think about a cloud, I think of it often as something that's soft. It's kind of what it looks like to me when I see clouds. And it's kind of fun. It makes the book a little bit more fun for me. And some people need that or like that, right? So do you like to feel books? And I'm holding up my like thumbs up card because I do like to feel books. And Nadia says she does too. She put a yes. Okay. We're going to go to the next question. Next question is, do you like to play basketball? That was a fast answer from Nadia. She does not. In my hand, I'm holding a really small basketball, a ball that's round and has black lines on it, and it's brown. And you know what? I'm not a huge fan of basketball either, so I'm going to put up my thumbs down. When I really think about it, I don't love basketball. I'm holding my dislike card. It's kind of interesting that Nadia and I have a lot in common. Nadia, we don't, we have a lot of no's and yeses that we answer at the same time. Okay, you guys ready for the next question? Here we go. Do you like to use sign language? I'm gonna put up my thumbs up because I do like, I do like to use sign language. I find it really fun. And I also like to use it when I'm not feeling good and my voice is hurting. And I don't really want to talk. I like to sign. I like to use sign language. Nadia says she does not. So I'm holding up my thumbs up like card. Monica also says yes, she does. So I'm gonna ask you three more questions um, just to get you guys thinking about things that you like and that you don't like. So do you like soft noises? I'm gonna play some soft noises for you. If you can't hear it, it is the sound of a pom-pom crinkling in my hand. 
It's very soft sound. It almost feels like maybe it can sound like the rain or the ocean water. Do you like soft noises? I'm holding up my light card with my thumbs up because I do really like soft noises. And we have Nadia and Monica both say yes, that they like soft noises. I like them because soft noises make me feel very calm, helps me feel relaxed and better. Okay, we're gonna ask two more questions. Do you like when someone stands really close to you when they talk? So if someone came in my room and walked over to me and stood a couple inches away from me, would I like that? I see a couple of people say no. And I'm also saying no. I'm putting my dislike thumbs down card up because I do not like when people get too close to me when they talk, but more so I don't like loud sounds. And when they get close to me, it sounds louder. And I don't like very loud sounds. But somebody who might not be hearing as well might really like someone to come up and stand close to them so they could hear them better. Right, so they might put yes, that they do like that. So everyone likes different things, right? I'm giving you a couple more examples of things that you might like or not like. And the reason I'm doing this is because when we make our passports, our personal passports, we have to understand what we like and what we don't like in order to tell other people. And if we need more help with this, that's okay. Somebody else can help come up to you and help you feel things or look at things, and then they can help you know whether you like or don't like that. So they can help you with that. So something else that I don't really need um, are like large letters. Do I like large letters? Not really. I'd rather look at small letters, but some people might really need large letters and they might really like it because it helps them see it. So I'm holding up a card with a number three and the card is black and the number three is red. And I know some students like to have the bright color on here so that they can see it and so that it's big. So they, someone else might like that. Huh. Another thing I know some people like or don't like uh, is like rough texture rough paper, so if you're feeling things, you might like it or you might not like it. And this I'm holding in my hand is a square of paper that has flecks of glitter on it. So shiny, different colors, red, yellow, green, blue, all sorts of colors. It's a small little piece, a little square, but when I feel it, it feels really rough on my fingers and I do not like it. I don't like the feeling, but somebody else might like feeling that texture and they might learn a lot from it. So that might be important for them to share with other people that they like rough or different textures. I'm wondering now if you can either feel around by you or look around in your house, anything that's close by you, can you look or feel things that you might like 
or not like. Now I'm gonna give you just a couple minutes to reach out and kind of explore around you. And if you have someone with you, maybe they can bring a couple things to you and you can think about that. So I'm gonna give you just a minute to explore right around you to see if you can feel or hear or see things that you like or don't like. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna find some things too. This is a chance to kind of move around if you need to for a minute, because we're about halfway done. Okay, I'm gonna give you just a couple seconds to finish up and get back to where you were sitting or to get ready. I'm gonna share with you a couple of things that I found around me and tell you if I like or don't like them. And if you guys want to share what you found around you and whether you like or don't like it, you can as well. You can type it in the chat. So I'm going to show you um, a couple of things and then I'll look to see if anyone wrote anything. OK, so in my hand, I'm showing a container, a plastic container. It has the words extra long lasting flavor on it. It's gum. I am holding my hand gum. And you know what's interesting is when I'm holding it, I can smell the minty flavor of this gum. And I actually really like that smell. I like the mint smell. Something else I found, I'm gonna hold it up. It's a pair of black headphones. These are headphones that actually go over your head. They sit on top of your head and go over your ears. And I actually really like to wear headphones, especially when it's really noisy around me. If there's loud sounds that I don't like, I like to wear headphones to listen to something more soft so that I can feel calm. I really like headphones. Something else I found, this is the last thing I'll share and then I'll look to see what you found, is that I found a pencil. I'm holding up a blue pencil that I use to write on my paper. And I actually don't like this pencil because it has no eraser on the end. And so it's really difficult for me to use while I'm writing and trying to erase things on my paper. So when I'm trying to make my paper clean, if I make a mistake, I don't like this pencil. It's not very sharp either. So that makes it even harder to write with because the point at the end is not sharp. So let's see, I see that Nadia found some things. So she found pens. She also found paper. And she said that she likes paper. And she also found gum and that she likes gum. So me and you both found some gum, Nadia. So fun. And Nadia also wrote two other things. She wrote that she likes stickers and she likes her braille writer. That's really great. I feel like I know you so much more Nadia already from you telling me some of those things that you like. 
And then I see that Monica wrote that she likes ribbon. That's interesting. There are all different kinds of ribbon. So there are some things that we might want someone to know about us. Like some of those things that Nadia just shared about her liking her braille writer. So those are our thumbs up, the good things that we want people to know about us. And there might be some things that we really don't want people to know about us. So I might put my thumbs down card like that. I'm holding my dislike card because there are some things that I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to tell anybody. But the things that we do want to tell somebody are thumbs up things could be, could help us, right? Could help us with letting other people get to know us better. And it might help in the classroom. It might help at home. It might help when you go to work. There's a lot of different places and we'll talk more another session about, you know, where and who we would use a personal passport with. And I see that Nadia likes yarn. She said that she likes yarn. I wonder if Monica's ribbon made her think about yarn. Yarn is soft. I like yarn too. So we're talking about today a personal passport and I want to share with you what some personal passports might look like because I actually like to use my vision a lot to I'm a visual learner so that means I use my eyes a lot it helps me learn I don't learn as well when I listen I learn better when I use my eyes and so I want to show you a couple of things that helped me learn what a personal passport is and I'll describe it for those who do better or like to hear um, to learn okay and also we you can make one that has um, textures so things that can feel differently and some people might like that or need that right so a personal passport, and Isabel, you might be interested in this or those who are at home. These are just a couple I found online that anybody could find online. And then I have one that I made um, about a student. So here's one that I found online. This is, I'm holding up a sheet of paper and I'll describe it in a minute. Um, it has you know quite a bit of words on it, but I found this online and this is a student um, this is a student's personal passport who is deaf blind. So they have a little bit of hearing loss and vision loss. And so on this personal passport, there's a lot of words. Um, it doesn't have to be this many words. A personal passport is yours. It should look like how it should describe you. So there's a picture we usually have a picture on a personal passport. And on this sheet of paper, there's a picture of a girl smiling with her hands on her hips, wearing her glasses, and she has long brown hair. And it's a great picture of her. Um, on the top, I'll just read it a little bit. It has, her name is Ava and it's called Ava's Cheat Sheet. And it says, that um, a little bit about her syndrome and she has Usher syndrome, which is why she's deaf blind. And it just says what Usher syndrome is and that she has it. And then it goes on and it talks a little bit about who she is, what she likes, just like we practiced. So some of the things says she is an athlete. So she loves sports. She's an artist. She thinks that anything is possible. So she likes to think that anything is possible. That's her belief. Okay, she is an, always a competitor. So a competitor means somebody who is always trying to, you know, win like, a, like in a sports game, like in a game of basketball. And so she includes some things she likes about herself. Okay, so things that we just practiced. And you can also include things that you do not like um, so that other people know. 
And she also has um, other information on here. She has what other things you should know about her. She talks that she has a cochlear implant. She has a cochlear implant that helps her, but it still is hard for her to hear. hear. So she likes using speakers to hear things. She likes when people repeat things. So they say things over and over. She likes um, for materials that she can see them. So she talks about what they need to do so that she can see them. It has what works for her, okay? Has a column of what works. So, you know, giving extra time to think about things. Um, you know, always being able to hear something with her speaker system, making sure that speaker is always there with her. Um, she likes to work as a team. She likes to not be by herself and to do a lot of things individually, but she likes to work with other people. And those are some of the what's that she includes on hers. She includes what she wants you to know, what she likes, and what helps her. What helps her? There's a lot of other things on there, but we're not going to go into those right now. But that is one way to make a personal passport. And she typed hers on the computer or had somebody help her type them on the computer. You could write it or you could use a brailler if you prefer that, right? Um, but it's helpful to, to write it in a way that other people can understand it and um, know what you're saying. I'm gonna show you two other ones. And this one I'm going to hold up has a bunch of pictures. This is also one that you can find just online. This is an older one, so they made it a while ago. And it has a one page of, a, of one, two, three, four, about six different pictures of a little girl and a name Valerie on it. And the pictures have um, her with a painted face, her on a playground, her on a horse with her with a male. So it has different pictures. So if you notice, both of them have pictures. I'm holding up Ava's and Valerie's personal passport, and they both have pictures of them on it. And then on her the rest of Valerie's, she actually has more than one page. She has about four pages, which is a little long, but you can do it however you'd like. And on this page, it has some more pictures. It has three different pictures of her as a little girl. And then this is what some of the things she talks about. It says, what do I love to do? And that's what we were just talking about. What you like, what you don't like. She loves doing things outside. She likes listening to music. It helps her when she feels sad and when she's crying. She loves it when people read to her. Um, she loves looking at books, the pictures in the books. She names all sorts of things that she likes and doesn't like. And some of you might be able to just tell somebody that with your voice or write it down um, really fast. But it's nice to sit and think about what it is that you like and, and that you don't like because it helps you learn more about yourself and helps you learn how to talk to other people about it and makes you feel good. And the last one I'm going to share is one that I made and it's also on a piece of paper and it's just one paper and it has a picture, but I covered up the picture just because of not wanting to, you know, share something that somebody else didn't want me to share. And it has a picture on one side of it on the corner. It's a little square. And then it has up at the top, a little square that has some really important things that we'd want somebody to know. And then the rest of it talks about some other things we'd want them to know. So she talks about on her personal passport, also things that she loves. She loves to get up and she loves to move all the time. She does not like to sit down in a chair at school. She likes 
the bright colors like we talked about with the yellow feathers. And show you those feathers again. Here are the yellow feathers. She likes bright colors. She likes to feel things. So when we go back to looking at our book, we looked at that picture with the clouds where you can feel them. I'm holding up that picture again. She likes to feel things. That helps her to do that. So this shares all kinds of information about, about somebody. So that's what I want for you to think about. And today um, you have an email that talks about some things you can do at home. And, and I want you to think about that. Think about what you like and what you don't like after we're done here. And what would you want, what, which one of those would you like to tell somebody else? So remember we had a goal. One of our goals was we talked about what three things would I want, can I think of to put on my pet personal passport? So maybe an example for Nadia, she might want to put one of those things might be, I like my Braille writer. My Braille writer is helpful to me. Okay. So we want you to think about three things. Remember our goal is to think of three things. And I know Nadia put more than three things in the chat. And you guys probably thought about more than three things here today as we were playing our like and dislike game. So we're going to use those three things to put on our personal passport, okay? So we talked about, we just finished talking about some of the what's and I'm holding up my black four with my white square picture that has the what word underneath the black box and with the question mark in it. So we finished little, talking a little bit about what. What do we like and that we don't like that we should put in our personal passport? And we heard a little bit more about what types of things to put on our personal passport from Ava's sheet that I read to you. And we'll talk a little bit more about this another time too. The last thing that we talked about as well was the why. So I am holding up the blackboard with the symbol Y, the white square, the word Y, and it has a person with a question mark. Remember that bubble, them thinking. So we talked about why do we want to do this? And remember, because I'm holding up the word self-determination, when we think about things about ourselves, things that we like or we don't like, and other things we want people to know about us. It helps us feel good to share that, to decide what we want to share. And it helps us feel good to learn more about ourselves. And so that's why we wanna make a personal passport. And we also want other people to be able to understand us and to learn more about us too because then it helps them know how to talk with us or how to you know, help us with uh, assignment or and there's so many reasons why it's helpful to have a personal passport. It helps us feel better and closer to other people when they know us and they know how to interact with us. So we're all done talking about the what and the why for today and about our personal passports. And so next time we're gonna talk more about those WH questions. Remember there were five of them, the who, what, when, where, why. We're gonna talk about a couple other ones and then we're gonna actually start working on making a personal passport for ourselves. So don't forget to look at the assignment that will help you for next week if you have time to do that. And 
do we leave question do we leave time for questions we have a few minutes okay does anyone have any questions about our why or our what's for our personal passports today monica says she does not have any more questions about it Great. Well, I hope Isabel and Nadia and everyone who is um, watching this right now or who will be watching it later, I hope you are thinking more about our question and our goals for today so that next time we can go a little bit further and talk about our other WH questions and we can start really making our personal passports. And next time, same day, same time, it will be February 17th for part two. So thank you very much, teacher Amy. I hope everybody is uh, really interested in continuing and learning more about personal passports and finishing asking those WH questions. And uh, if nobody else has any more questions, we will see you next week on the 17th. I'm going to stop the recording, maybe. Yes. Bye, Nadia.